So guys, I'm back. Um, yes. I'm doing my video. Y'all, I'm back. About to do my cabbage. My son is in his own meeting, so doing his work in his class. So I, I can't be so loud, y'all. Can you hear me? This thing is huge. I'm gonna take some of these pieces off now. Some of these stuff right here. I'm being goofy But I have my pot with my water in it. Um, I'm going to actually put it on the stove so I can go ahead and heat up so I can place the um, cabbage inside the other pot. Get my water and put it on the stove. So I got my ribs going. I'm about to do my cabbage and my... Uh, Cornbread. Oh, my macaroni and cornbread gonna be last. So I'm eating good, y'all. We've been eating good. I'm gonna bring y'all over here so y'all can see me. Okay. Can y'all see me? Okay. This thing is freaking huge. I've been having to rest off my um. I need another knife. I don't know what I did with my other knife. I just got done cleaning out my silverware, y'all. I had to actually throw out old silverware and replace it with new ones because my stuff always disappearing. Do y'all forks and stuff be disappearing too, or is it just me? Comment down below. But, um, I'm going to break this part. I'm going to cut it up. I'm not going to cut as much cabbage. I'm just going to do like just a small amount in the pot. Y'all know I love cabbage. Go on my old videos on my channel, and you guys can see that I love cabbage. I love my greens with spinach too. I try to keep like some type of green. Um, put this up. Some type of green uh, vegetable in my food. Whether it's cabbage, uh, string beans, spinach. Green peas, whatever. I try to keep some type of like broccoli, like any green vegetable in my food. So I'm gonna go ahead and just chop this stuff up, y'all. I know I need a better knife, but I'm gonna work with what I got because I can't find my other one. I think I put it in one of my drawers actually because I just bought some new stuff I didn't even open. I should even had it open already, but whatever. This still the do because I used this before for cabbage, so this the do. I'm not gonna season my cabbage um, until I put it in the pot. That's how I do mine. If you a cabbage lover, comment down below, guys. <laughs> if you love cabbage. Because I definitely do. Y'all know, too, if it's hard for you to cut it, too. Because it's not kind of dull in a way, but it's working. Um, If you have, like, big pieces, you can actually roll it. Like, if you cook in the kitchen, you can actually roll it like this. I'm just using an example. This is too small, but you can roll it and still cut it, actually. But if you have, like, big pieces of cabbage, you can roll it and just cut Cut down the, um, like that. Just cut down. Roll it, hold it, and cut it. And so it's in little pieces that you want it. Some people just throw their stuff in. They like it big. I do both, but I do like to cut mine. I don't just like throwing it in there with big pieces of cabbage. I don't do it like that. I'm going to rinse this off one more time, y'all. 
I'm just that clean with my food. I'm sorry. Even with like cooking at home for me and my son or family and friends. Um, anybody I cook for myself, my son, anybody like that's just me. I need my food to be clean. I don't care where it came from. I don't care how it looks clean. I'm rinsing it off, whether it's meats, chicken, uh, ribs, whatever. I'm going to wash it off. The only thing I ain't going to wash it off is no bacon or nothing like that. But Steaks. But you guys, I've been enjoying my little time off or whatever. Um... As far as being home quarantining a little bit, I gotta get back to work come Monday. So if you guys don't see me drop a video right in and there that week, just know I'm back busy. <laughs> just letting you know. But whoever tuning in, um, see your girl Miss V. I appreciate you guys. I know my mom is always on my stuff too. So shout out to my mom. I love her. Hey mommy, I know you be. She my biggest supporter for me and my son. So. This is what I like to do and come on here and make videos and cook. So that's what I'm doing. But the ones who support you and really tune in and watch you, even if it don't, because it's not going to tell you who viewing your stuff. But if you are viewing it, I thank you and subscribe <laughs> if you haven't already. But I love to cook. And I'm going to rinse these bad boys off. This is how much I cut down of the cabbage, you guys. And I'm going to rinse it off. Now that I just drained my cabbage, you guys, I'm going to take you guys with me so I can add this stuff inside of my pot. All you got to do is just take up a the tiny. There we go. Just push it all in the pot, you guys. Just push it all over. Some people put onions inside of theirs. Um, me, I prefer... Not to, only if I'm probably frying it or something. So, get all the little pieces, y'all, when you cook it. Get all the little crown pieces. And yeah. I have to clean up my mess, you guys, but I'm going to let this cook. Throw a little bit of seasoning here now, and then I'll let you guys see the finished touch when I'm done. Just adding a little bit of pepper, just a tiny bit, y'all, not drowning it. A little bit of seasoned salt. Seasoned salt is salty, but I never put as much. I don't put a lot. And I shouldn't, but um, I want to try it. I don't know if I should use this. <gasps> y'all, I forgot to put this on here. My, you slap your mama. Forgot to put Slappy Mama on my ribs, y'all. I'm going to take it back out and put some of this in here, y'all. But, yes, you guys. Cajun season, I'm going to throw a little bit on there, too. So, I'm going to take my ribs out, you guys. I'm going to let my cabbage go ahead and cook. And I will talk to you guys later um, when everything is finished. And when I drizzle my barbecue sauce on top of my ribs. So, I'll talk to you later. Peace.